Now let's see the basic structure and operating principles of the stepping motor. This is a basic model. A permanent magnet having north and south poles is in the center. It is equivalent to the rotor. It is surrounded by four coils, S1, S2, S3, and S4. They work as a stator winding wire. Now we will turn on a direct current in these four coils in sequence. When the direct current passes through the S1 coil, it becomes an electromagnet and draws the rotor's poles. The rotor stops facing S1. Next, when the direct current is turned off in the S1 coil and turned on in the S2 coil, the S2 coil becomes an electromagnet and draws the rotor. The rotor rotates 90 degrees clockwise and stops facing the S2 coil. As you can see, the direct current is turned on in the coils in sequence, which then rotates a magnetic field and moves the rotor step by step. The driver in the driving circuit switches the direct current to the coils on and off. The driver includes an electric circuit consisting of a transistor, which works as a switch. You can control the flow of direct current by switching on and off the transistor. The transistor is controlled by a pulse signal. A single pulse signal provides a setting for switching the direct current to the stator coil on and off. We have seen the basic structure and operating principles of the stepping motor.